Hello, welcome back to Bitwig Studios Beginners Course. DJ Vic Paper with you. And in this lesson, we're going to take a look at third party plugins, how to scan for them. You can see right here my library is actually being scanned right now. How to add them, and just a general idea of dealing with third party plugins. So here in Bitwig, you've got to access your third-party plugins you've got the first uh, devices and presets button right here you can access bitwigs individual audio effects and MIDI effects and containers and all that good stuff right here and after your hard drive has been scanned you can actually access your own individual third-party plugins that you have available and here you can see a small collection of mine it's still being indexed so there will be a few more added but how did I uh, inform Bitwig where to go. Well, if you go across the panel here, all the way to the end, the little cog wheel, or gear wheel, whatever you want to refer to it as, click on that guy, and then you go all the way down to the bottom, and you can see it plug-in locations, locations to VST plugins. Now you can add more than one location. I've added my personal location, and then I've added a system library location right there. So it's continuing to scan that for us right now. But you simply click Add Location, tell it what folder to search, it'll index it for you. And then when you come back here, as they're added, they're available for you right here. So let's take a look at adding one. I'm going to use the triangle button, open it up. We'll grab the Fab Filter Pro C. Now I can double click it or I can just drag and drop. And of course, you get the interface of the plugin once it pulls up and you can close that and you have access to all the parameters that are automatable if that's the right way to say it show only automated and modulated parameters so everything right here that we can actually manipulate in our arrangement window is now available to us you click on the little wheel here and it will give you a different another screen here for mappings and we can drag and assign this to uh, individual um, areas that we maybe want to have like an LFO or some sort of modulation to it and here's some macros once you click on the little arrows there you'll get the macros and of course the the kind of folder looking deal there brings back up the interface of the actual plugin so third-party plugins in Bitwig Studios, pretty straightforward. Just wanted to show you how to get your VSTs added or your plugins added, and then the basic idea of accessing it. Let's move on to the next lesson.